Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video I have a blue eye tutorial for you today with a nude lip. So let's get this tutorial started. So to prime my under eyes I'm using Benefits Oola Lift and then I'm going in with the Professional by Benefit as well just to conceal the pores that I have and just to give it a smoother surface. And then for my primer I use Makeup Revolution Strobe Cream just so that it gives me more of a luminous look on the face because I knew I was going to have a matte eyeshadow look today so I wanted my face and base to look quite illuminating and glowy. So I'm just rubbing that all over the skin and then I'll go in with the foundation which is Milani's Perfect and Conceal Foundation in the colour Golden Tan and Light Tan. Now I did get golden tan first, but that was really orange, so then I ended up getting light tan just to neutralise it down a little, but I think I am the shade tan. So I'm just dotting that everywhere, all over my face, also down my neck, and then I'm using my Dampy Beauty Blender just to blend everything in, and if there's an excess product then that will just pick it up as well. So I'm just using Pouncing Motions here, and I love using the Beauty Blender because it gives a more flawless finish to the skin. And always remember to take it down the neck as well to give it more of a finished look. Now to correct my under eyes which are quite dark and blue, I'm using Bobbi Brown's Corrector in Dark Peach. Now I like to use this with my fingers first just to warm the product up and then later on you'll see me using the same beauty blender again just to take any excess product away and just run it over my eyelids as well. Now I'm just going to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow and the eye primer that I'm using is the Smashbox 24 hour primer. I started to put this in the back of my hand and just warming up with my finger and then going in with the product from the eyelid rather than from the tube to eye. So I'm just setting that with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade 006 Warm Beige. Now for my transition colour. Oh my god, it's not frappe or creme brulee for once. It's actually Pestle Pusher and it's more of a mauve purple colour. So I'm just putting this all the way through the crease and you'll see me picking up the colour little by little and just getting it to the colour that I want it to be. And I've left all the clips as well for this so you can see how much or how many times I dipped into the pan and how much little product I picked up on my brush. So I'm just using windshield windshield brush. Windshield wipe emotions and circle emotions and then the dark purple colour that you can see there is Motown from Makeup Geek as well. So I'm just mainly putting this on the outer corner of my eye here and they're just trying to wing it out at the same time but I'm using more of a circle emotion when I'm blending this colour out. slightly do go into the middle of the crease as well but I won't take it all the way through towards the inner corner of my eye and I'm just using the same transition brush that I used earlier just to make sure that everything is blended really well. Now for the electric blue colour that I used was from Urban Decay in the electric palette and this is the shade Chaos. I picked up a more denser sharp bristled brush just to make sure that the colour is packed on to the eyelid rather than being a thin layer. So I'm just literally packing this colour all over my eyelid first and then later on I'll go in and just swipe it in as well to give it more of a even finish. When I did put this eyeshadow on I also made sure that I tapped my brush because I didn't want any fallout seeing as I already did my base. Now I'm just going in with that same Motown colour again just to make sure that everything is blended and you'll see me blend in the top as well near towards my inner corner and when you do blend your eyeshadow it does take some of that base colour away so I'll go in and just put more on top of that as well just to make it a bit more brighter. Now to clean under my eyebrows I'm using Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and 
Now I'm going to use my concealer but I'm also going to make my eyeshadow look more winged eyed because I'm not going to do a wing eye today. So I use Maybelline's Anti-Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Nude. And then because I wanted more of a highlighted look, I went in with MAC Cosmetics Prep and Prime in the shade High, high Boost, Light Boost. So I'm just blending everything in with the same Beauty Blender again. Now once all that is all blended in, I'll go in with my Beauty Blender again under the eyes and just pounce out any of the creases that may have formed and then I'm going to set it with my Collections Loose Powder in the shade Barely There. And I'm also going to bake my eyeshadow, eye <laughs> bake my under eyes as well, just leave the powder there just for a few seconds and then I'll just set the rest of my face where I apply the concealer. And then to set the outer perimeter of my face, I'm using the Rimmel London powder again and I'm just making sure that I'm tapping everything into the face first and then I'll go in and just wipe it all in. And you'll see me also just taking off that bake as well at the same time. Now to bronze the face, I use the Makeup Heat Revolution Golden Sugar Palette but in there there is a bronzy shade in there so I'm just using that just to bronze and warm up the face. I'm just applying that on my cheekbones, around the temples and then also under my jawline as well. Now I'm going to bake under my cheekbone as well using the same beauty blender and the collection powder again. And I'm going to leave that there a little bit as well so it gives me a bit of structure and shape to the face. Now for the highlights, I'm using Makeup Geeks Golden Sugar Palette and I use more of the champagne pink colour in that palette. So I'm just applying that on the tops of my cheekbones and then also down the bridge of my nose as well. Now to intensify the highlight, I'm using Gosh Cosmetics Sun Powder which is more of a golden highlight. This one's much more illuminating than the Makeup Revolution one. And then once I'm finished, I'll go in with my beauty blender and just pounce it on the areas that are highlighted so it doesn't look so powdery. And then for blusher, it's Makeup Revolution's Hot and Spice palette. And I'm just literally applying that onto the cheekbones and dragging it backwards and applying it onto the temples of my face as well. And then with that same brush, I'll just blend off the bake too. Now here's a quick tip. If you think that something looks a bit too defined, it's not blended enough, just use your powder brush and just literally blend it over everything without any additional product. Now for my eyes, I use makeup, not makeup, Urban Decay's um, liner in the shade Accused um, on my waterline, but then I just use the, sh the shade, the same shade of brush that I use for the Chaos colour. And I was just picking up a little bit of Motown and just blending that eyeliner in. And then to further blend it and smoke it out, I use my transition colour again just to blend everything out as well. Now for the eyeliner, like I said already, I didn't really do a winged liner. I just wanted the focus to be more on the eyes today, so I just did a thin line. And because I created a wing eyed effect with a concealer, I didn't feel the need to wing it today. And again, I tried to keep all the clips in for when I did the eyeliner for you guys as well. Now for mascara, I used Maybelline's Lash Sensational and right there I just stuck it right onto my skin. How fun. The trick with that is just let it dry and then later on get a dense brush and just literally fluff it away and it'll come off so much easier rather than it being wet. And then for my brows I used Rimmel London's Brows This Way Gel in the shade Dark. Now for the lip colour I wanted, oh we're not onto lips yet, um, I just thought my inner corner looked a bit dull and lifeless so I used Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek just to give it a bit more depth and brighten up that inner corner area for you. 
Yay, now we're on to lips. So for the lips, I didn't really want to put a bright colour on there because I wanted, like I said, the eyes to stand out in this look. So I went for more of a nudie brown colour with a bit of a grey undertone. And I'm using NYX um, Lip Lingerie in the shade Honey. And I thought this eye combo and lip really played well together as well and nothing was trying to take over the shine. So I'm just applying that onto my lips and here is a close up of the eyes for you. If you liked this video guys then please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave any comments down below on any other looks that you would like to see. See you guys later. Bye!